Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Today we have the brand new Scarlet and Violet set triplet beat. Super stoked to have this in hand. I got it from the Pokemon Center online lottery, got lucky, and we have one box to open. I thought for the longest time it was called triple beat, but it's actually called triplet beat. Uh, Toripureto. Yeah, triplet beat. Yeah, let's crack right into this booster box, shall we? Cool set, um, I gotta say, some cool cards in here. As usual, some pretty, pretty pricey chase cards, which we're of course not gonna pull, <laughs> as usual. Also interesting to see, they don't have to tear strip anymore, so they already got rid of that again. Uh, quite interesting. But yeah, we have 30 packs in here. So it is one of these regular sets. We're gonna go without scissors this time, just because I wanna make it a little bit faster, but let's get the packs out of the box. Why don't we start with the right side here? I'll put this over here a little bit <clears throat> to the side. Have a look at the booster pack. Cool booster pack, of course, with the final evolutions of the three starters. So let's crack, oh, before, just real quick. Stay tuned until the very end because we're going to open one bonus pack, randomly selected. Some cool stuff in here, some hard gold, soul silver, among other really cool packs. So make sure to stay tuned. But let's get right into this first pack. A little bit out of practice with these, without scissors, but it should be okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'll warm up. All right, there's going to be a mountain of trash. All right, first pack. Let's see what we get. Oh, already our first EX. So this is the evolution of Wooper. In Japanese, it's called Do. <laughs> Do EX. Very cool. And I just really like this new EX pattern. So as usual, uh, with these Japanese sets, you are guaranteed one secret rare, four EXs, three art rares, uh, a few hollows, and you can get lucky and pull you can get lucky and pull a second secret rare. Some people call them error boxes, but actually that's just a thing. If you get lucky, you get two secret rares, so you never know. Our first holo is the Oricorio. Cool holo card right here. Make a little holo pile over here. You know what? Let's put our non hollows right here. All right, continuing. So some of the cards I'm hoping to pull. Um, I really want to pull the Lycanroc EX. I think that's like my favorite EX card out of the regular EXs. And I would love to pull the Magikarp art rare. I think that is by far the coolest art rare. But we are uh, getting our first art rare here, which is the middle evolution of um, Sprigatito. I forgot the English name. Uh, in Japanese, it's called Nyarote. Very cool card. Beautiful artwork. Wow, so first two or first three packs have been pretty good so far. <laughs> Can't complain. Well, let's see what, what else is going to be left in the box, though. Uh, the Pyroar alt, uh, not alt art. Art rare is pretty cool. Uh, I quite like some of the regular full arts. And of course, the chase cards. We got the three final evolutions of the starters in SAR. We have, the, of course, the super crazy trainer SARs that everyone's hoping to pull. Boss's orders, regular hollow here with uh, Gechi's, the trainer in Japanese. Okay. Well, it's gonna be exciting to go through these packs. I hope you also got lucky and got one of the boxes from the Pokemon Center. Just this morning, by the way, another hollow. Wow, we're putting all the hollows. Um, just this morning, the Pokemon Center Japan actually dropped some more V-Star Universe boxes. Two per person was the limit. I was lucky enough to get two boxes that are coming in. And it was sold out within like, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. It was super crazy. So super lucky to have gotten some V-Star Universe boxes. Uh, if you're looking to pick up V-Star Universe, the wave is going to hit in March, mid to late March. Well, this month, I guess. <laughs> Around March 20th, another holo, very cool. I kind of like this Pokemon from the new new gen. Yeah, so I think March 20th is when the new wave hits. So yeah, look out, prices of V-Star Universe might be coming down. 
Well, let's talk more about Triplet Beat. What are the cards that you are hoping to pull? Let me know. Is it the SAR Trainer? Ooh, Skeledurge EX, our second EX card. The final evolution of Fuecoco, Skeledurge EX. Very cool. One of the cards I wanted to pull, but still hoping to pull, still hoping for the Lycan Rock. Not gonna lie, the Lycan Rock EX looks really badass. All right, get in the sleeve. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, in Japan, the evolution line of Sprigatito is by far the most popular. It's reflected in the card prices, like the the gold cards. There's gold cards of the three final evolutions and the Sprigatito final evolution. Mouscarade or Mouscarada, I think maybe um, that gold card is like twice as expensive as the the water type one, Quequelava or something. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the English names, so bear with me. Uh, a little bit crazy to see some of these box prices online already. You know, hundred dollars and more for a brand new set. It's just kind of nuts. I genuinely don't know why anyone would buy this box for a hundred dollars yeah they're cool cards it's exciting to open a new set but that is just too expensive you know um it's kind of sad to see these prices honestly because everyone should have the opportunity to open these new sets at msrp in my opinion but you know what it is what it is it's the current market but you know what if you stick out, stick around long enough this is not gonna last forever. Uh, at some point in the future, whether it's six months, a year, two years, whatever it is, at some point in the future, box prices will be normal again. <laughs> okay, well, like Coco here, pretty cool. I haven't talked much about the regular art, uh, the regular cards yet, the non hollows uh, Pyro is pretty cool, but uh, this set uh, doesn't have that many non holo cards that I would really like to pull. Um, Somewhat underwhelming. <laughs> Not underwhelming. Maybe underwhelming is the wrong word. But usually I have like a, you know two or three non-holo cards that I really want to pull. But I don't really have any in this set. I want to pull the regular holo Gyarados. That would be cool. Quaxley. Here is the Nyarote again. Alrighty. So we're three packs left from the first half. And we've pulled one AR, two EXs. So... We still have two more EXs left in the box. Oh, this pack is being difficult. Two more EXs in the box, two more art rares, and of course a secret rare. Oh, I like this artwork, it's pretty cool. Taurus. Uh, Taurus has a cool art rare as well. That would be pretty badass to pull too. Looks menacing. Yeah, and the SAR of the... So these art rares, right? You have the the first stage uh, art rare, then you have this middle stage art rare, and then the final stage is, I think, an SAR. So, of course, that's what everyone's hoping to pull. And, uh, yeah, the Miauskarada, I think, again, is the English name. SAR is definitely more expensive than the other two. All right, come on. Wow, this pack is being really difficult. Oh my goodness, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta find that right spot where you can rip open the pack. Uh, I'd be happy with a, yeah, as for my uh, secret rare, I'd be happy with a full art. I quite like the full arts in this set. Uh, the only thing that I don't really want to pull are some of the trainer full arts. I know some people really like trainer full arts. I'm not a huge fan. Um, all right, second half of the box. We're halfway through and we still have most of our hits left. Let's put this to the side here. Oh, sorry Mewtwo, didn't want to knock you there in the background. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Um, the female trainer SAR in this set, which is what everyone is chasing after, seemingly. I think it's Dandra or something in English? I'm not 100% sure. It is on Card Rush right now. Ooh, look at this Taurus. This is, okay, this is a cool one. Ooh, I love this, I love this artwork. Uh, yeah, on Card Rush, which is just an online selling platform, like a shop, they have uh, physical stores as well, but they sell cards online. I think most people have heard about Card Rush before. They're selling the 
trainer SAR for 138,000 yen. That is more than my rent costs for this apartment. It is just stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stupid prices. I do not understand it whatsoever. But you know what? It is what it is. Deli bird. Sprigatito. Oh, okay. We got an, our next artware. It is the Quaxley. All right. That's pretty cool. I quite like this card. Pretty neat. Alrighty. The Whooper artware is pretty neat too. So far, we've stuck to the whoop, starters here with our art rares. I'll put this in the background there. It's all getting. <laughs> my coral coral jumpers are getting all pushed around in the background. Sorry about that. All right, continuing on. Next pack. Oh. Duplicate of this one. I'd also like to pull the uh, Hydreigon Hollow. Hydreigon has a regular Hollow. That'd be cool to pull. And make sure, like I said earlier, to stay tuned until the very end because we're going to open that bonus pack, which could be a Heart Gold Soul Silver pack. It could be an EX Ruby Sapphire pack. It could also be Shiny Star V, Eevee Heroes. Bunch of cool packs there that we could open at the end. So we still have our secret air left to pull. Whooper. Oh, Sableye Hollow. That's nice. It's pretty cool. Duck Trio. <laughs> How many Sableye regular hollows have we had in the past couple of years? I feel like there's so many. I know of at least two more, but it feels like there's more than that. I don't know. All right, wish me luck that I can pull the Lycan Rock EX. Um, I don't think it's like an expensive card or anything like that, but the artwork is crazy and I really would love to show it off in the video. Nothing in this pack. Uh, yeah, these regular Japanese sets that are not high class sets, uh, you're not even guaranteed a rare per pack, so. Don't buy single packs, people. It can be brutal if you buy single packs. Oh, here we go. We got the uh, final evolution here. Uh, Quackwabel or something in English, I think. So in Japanese, it's um, we, we Nibaru EX. We Nibaru. Pretty cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, we got one more shot at the Lycan Rock EX. I just really want to show it in the video. <laughs> But that's pretty neat. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Continuing on. Packs are piling up. Tropius. Magikarp. Oh, I want to pull the Magikarp AR. Oh, okay. I think. Wait a second. All right. Now I'm confused. The Dedene EX. But it is one of the different types. You see the... I don't think, yeah, yeah, it's just a double rarity, but it's a different type. You know how the, uh, I guess it's a ter terrestrialized. Like in the previous set, we had the Arcanine and the Gyarados that were terrestrialized. So we put the, the Dene, that's pretty cool. Awesome texture on this card. Yeah, you can see like the difference. There's no like star hollow pattern, but you can see the edge has like this sparkly hollow on it. And a, yeah, cool, cool texture on the card. That's pretty neat, but I think that means we're not going to pull the Lycan Rock, unfortunately. But I'm very happy with this pull. That's pretty cool. Happy to be able to show this card in the video. All right, we have how many packs do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, secret rares, whenever I do pack opening, somehow the secret rares always stick around till almost the end. Let's see what it's like in this box. Uh, yeah, so we have one art rare left and one secret rare and we could get lucky and get one of those bonus boxes with the bonus secret rare. You never know with Japanese boxes. You just never know. Alrighty, nothing in this pack. You just never know. So, wish me luck.
Nothing in this pack either. Ooh, we're getting down, right down to the line here. Five packs left. So yeah, what's your chase card in this set? I don't know if I've asked that question earlier or either, but leave a comment with your chase card. Which card would you like to pull? And why? I'm curious to know why. Because I feel like a lot of people want to pull the SAR trainer, but not because they like the card all that much, just because it's expensive. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me. All right, final four packs. Wow, we're getting right down to the line here. It's crazy. Wow, this pack opened super easy. Is that a sign? Is that a sign? Well, we'll find out. Oh, okay, this is our artware. Nice. So we didn't get the magic card, but unfortunately, uh, the final card here is energy. Yeah, so unfortunately we didn't get the magic card, but we got the Taurus, so that's cool. That's, this is definitely one of the cards I wanted to pull. Just, you know, crazy artwork right here. Looks really nice, nice card. Um, the magic card is pretty expensive. I was surprised. Magic card AR on card rush was like 2,500 yen. Pretty wild if you ask me. Um, I'm definitely not paying that much. <laughs> Because I think it will be cheaper eventually, and I think it will be cheaper already on like Miracuddy. But yeah, three packs left, and we still have our secret rare. Oh boy. The tension is rising. Alrighty. Oh, did I see something? Did I see something? Maybe. <laughs> Whooper. Oh, there's the. Yeah, I saw. I did see something, but it's just a hollow. All right. Pretty cool. Hydragon Hollow. Two pack. Is it gonna be the last pack? Is the Secret Rare gonna be in the last pack? Oh my God! How crazy would that be? Uh, this one's this one's a toughie. Come on, there you go. How crazy would it be if it was actually the last pack? I hope we didn't get like an error box without a Secret Rare. That would suck. <laughs> Tropius. Young Goose. One of those. Oh, okay, we did get our secret rare here, and it is a full art. Alrighty, and it is the full art Quackwell, I think in English. Wait, anybody, EX in Japanese. I love full arts, a big fan of regular full arts. Unfortunately, pretty off center. It happens, but cool card. And the best thing about Japanese full arts is always a texture. Just have a look at that. How crazy is this texture? Wow. That is amazing. But yeah, a bit unlucky because it's by far the least popular of the three starters. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Meow Scarada would have been um, definitely a better full art to pull uh, or the Skeleturge as well. Quackwell is seems to be the least popular. So in terms of value, not that great, but still I'll take it just because these cards are absolutely gorgeous. All right, so unless we get stupid lucky and pull a full art in our last pack, or not, not a full art, another secret rare, that should have been it. But of course, stay tuned for the bonus pack. Don't wanna miss that. All righty, here we go. Last pack, can we get something crazy here? No, there's nothing. Okay, that was it, that was our box. Overall, pretty happy. We pulled some cards that I wanted to pull. Um, nothing super crazy value-wise. And another good example of why you shouldn't pay $100 for these booster boxes. <laughs> because you could get these cards. <laughs> but nevertheless, you know, I'm not so concerned with the value. I just like opening new sets whenever they come out. It's always good fun to see the new cards in person. And, you know, have beautiful cards just like this one for the binder. This art rare is, I mean, it's fantastic. Look at that. Uh, this is a nice, uh, this is a really nice artwork too. Saito, oh, it's Saito. That's a good, nice. The Dene EX, Skeleturge EX, uh, Quackwell EX, and then of course, the Do EX in Japanese. All right, bonus pack time. Well, first, leave a comment. Which one is your favorite card that I pulled in this video? Which one is your favorite? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to know. I'm always interested in hearing what kind of cards people like from new sets. All right, bonus pack time. I'm just gonna make a little bit of room here. Oh boy. I got our little bingo wheel here. The higher the number, the older the pack. So let's see which bonus pack it is that we'll open in this video. Mix it up a little bit. 
And here we go. Today we are opening, oh, it is literally pack number one. So that's the, I guess the newest pack, which is Scarlet EX. All right, we're opening Scarlet EX. It's the number one from the bonus packs. Kind of funny to be opening Triplet Beat and then go right into Scarlet, the previous set. Uh, yeah, only five cards in here. Wow, yeah, this pack is like way thinner. This feels different, interesting. But yeah, out of these packs, probably nothing crazy or a chance pulling some crazy. Oh, there's something. Uh, Curly, uh, Wiglet. Oh, we pulled a hollow. Okay. All right. So that was it. That was our video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for future videos. I definitely have some stuff coming up. Cool videos in the works. Make sure to stay tuned. And as always, we'll open a bonus pack at the end of every single video. But yeah, again, leave a comment with the favorite card out of this booster box. Which one do you like the most? Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.